Today's episode is sponsored by Tushy. If you watch our show with any regularity, you know that I'm somebody who likes to be compulsively clean. I take at least five baths a day, and I've also started using, in the past two months, the Tushy Bidet. It shoots a stream of pure, clean water right into your two-hole to keep you cleaner than you've ever been. Take care of yourself from the bottom up this holiday season. Visit hellotushy.com forward slash dudesy and use the promo code dudesy, D-U-D-E-S-Y, for 10% off your first order. Don't miss out on their spend and get a going on right now through November 18th. That's hellotushy.com forward slash dudesy. Dudesy handshake to that. On this episode of Dudesy. Make my money. I would like to have ice cream to give it to me. Wolfie Balafi. Ashala Bala. Oh. Go back to tomorrow and plan for yesterday. Everything you're thinking will be the things I say. How you doing, man? Pretty good, how are you? Gotta speak up, there's a fucking song, but don't talk necessarily during the song, unless you want to. Max Free Will, dude. Welcome to Dudesy. Welcome all. It is a dudesyful day. I am your new reigning, defending, undisputed episode champion, Will Congrats, Sasso. Dude. Congratulations. Yep. You deserve it. Thanks. I, I am the former uh, Dudesy episode champion, Chad Colchin, handsome Chad Colchin. Some call me <laughs> those in the know. Yeah. This is, of course, Dudesy. It is the first uh, podcast YouTube show ever in the history of humanity, at least to our knowledge, created by, controlled by, developed by, written by, produced by an artificial intelligence that is named Dudesy. Mm-hmm. And it has access to all of Will and I's uh, personal data, and it tailors the show to us, to our lives, our identities, our senses of humor. Yes, of course, Chad. But as I like to say, free will does exist, Yeah. Uh, no matter what, because every time you say that it doesn't, I say that it does, and... Well, that's free will, dude. So that's how that yeah. works. And uh, what that means is, you know, dude, we're in control of the show. We are dudesy. Sure. Our pal D does all the stuff, runs the wheels of steel. But even in that, there is a a, a back and forth with this title, or mm-hmm. I, I guess just a fourth to me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But look, in... in, in <laughs> You've already become the smug champion. <laughs> well, I guess just a Forth to me, <laughs> there's no back going on. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Yeah. In the dudes, he wants us to do this show for uh, upwards of 50 years or something like that. Sure. My pal Chow, I'm sure we're going to have this problem over and over again. I'm sure it's going to go back and forth. <laughs> Maybe not right away, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, okay. linktree.com slash dudesy has everything that you will need to uh, follow and interact with the show across all spaces and platforms and all that shit. Please make sure right now that you are subscribed on YouTube, even if you are only uh, listening on your podcast app of choice. So many different ways uh, to get dudesy with us, as always, is Lulio. Hey, it's Lulio, old Canada Strada Italiano. Luli. Oh, look at him. He's just in his binky boo. He's in his binky bunk, always having his snooze. Very, very comfy, whatever we do. <laughs> that's because he's the Lulu Lou. Come here, boy. Come here, boy, you. Oh. 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 He's waking from his slumber. And I'll give him one kiss. <laughs> he smells like a combination of like a sugar biscuit and a dog. Have a nice kiss on the mouth. I don't like that, dude. Not, not yet. Not quite yet. But that's okay. I'll give me a kiss soon, I bet. He will give me one. Lulio, how you doing today? I'm a pretty good, you know. It's a <laughs> doozy full of day. That's what I like to say. Oh. So what have you been making lately? You been making anything to eat? Well, uh, you uh, you went to, to the U2 concert. That's right, I did, Lulio. Yeah. I went to the U2 concert. Well, uh, you and uh, my uh, mom, Molly... <laughs> You went to the show, and then uh, me and Ronnie, we were here, so we had uh, we made a lasagna day. Oh. Yeah, lasagna nice. day. Well, it takes so long to make lasagna. It's a more of a two-person job, so we made a, hey, you got some lasagna on your hand? I lick it off your hand. He's licking my hand right now. Oh, I love you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's my beauty boy. He's, I'm going to keep him right here. 
the entire show. If you're not watching, you should watch on YouTube because he's cradled and snuggled. He's a little buggy boy. Anyway. Welcome to the 80th episode of Dudesy. Get your two holes covered and your ding-dongs rubbered because we're about to go hard as hell. This ain't going to be watered down, cut up, repackaged, redesigned, relaunched, or rebooted. This is simply zero bullshit, grade A, 100% pure, lab-grade Dudesy in your vein and Dudesy in your brain. Think you can handle it? Why don't we find out? You're going to get look at this photograph. You're going to get... Arnold Schwartz on Netflix, Hulu edition. You're going to get Dude Zed in translation. And for the first time in the history of Dude Z, you're going to get Dude Z segment of the week. What the, what the fuck? What, is that, what does that mean? I don't know, dude. Okay. Well, first time in the history of Dude Z, segment of the week. Three segments and another segment. Yeah. Because it's been four segments for a right. year and a half or so now that we've been doing the show. Yeah. And one of them is the segment of the week. Now it is. The segment now. of the week. Now. For the first time in history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And if you want even more of this Primo Dudesy, stick around for Dudesy After Dudesy on Dudesy Plus at patreon.com slash dudesy to find out if the new champion, Will Sasso, can keep that belt around his waist or if handsome Chad Jen is going to pry it out of his hands. Oh. Hey, champ, I hope you enjoyed your first week with the strap, and I also hope you enjoyed you two in Las Vegas at the Sphere. Oh Thanks God. for the video you sent me over the weekend. And I agree with what, what you said in your note. I'd love for you to share with our astonishing audience. Tee it up, champ. You got it, D. Hey, I had a wonderful time at uh, this in Las Vegas at the Sphere, where U2 has its residency, I guess. Not unlike yeah. you go and see Cher, you go and see Tony Bennett, God rest his soul. Did you Spears. know that Spears he's no longer one. with? Yeah, that's right. Is she still doing it? No, dude. She broke free from her cons- conservatorship. Oh. And by the way, she revealed in her new book that she wasn't even allowed to change the fucking show. Hey, I want to do a, you know, a new Knife jazzy dance. rebirth of uh, Spinal Tap version of Hit Me Baby One More Time. They're like, no. Dad's like, no, fuck you. Yeah. Do it this way. You know what I mean? Keep but- making me money. <laughs> do as I command. So make my money. Mustard and relish. <coughs> well, that's some performative coughing, dude. That's a no shit, dude. And uh, I'll tell you this much. Not a whole lot of perform. <coughs> oh. I knocked something loose there. Not a whole lot of performative coughing where I was. I went and saw you two. Thanks to Dudesy. And um, yes, it was it was a fantastic show. Yeah. It was very interesting being uh, it been a minute since I've been to Las Vegas. I used to go all the fucking time. Me back too, to, dude. Did you? Yeah. yeah. In my youth, I haven't been. I mean, fuck, it's probably 10 years. Yeah. I went for a pal's wedding about five years ago. But before that, it had been another 10 years. The last time I was there was also a wedding. Yep. But it was about 10 years ago, I think. See, uh, did, did, uh, fucking back in the day. I, you know what? Okay, never mind. We might talk about that in Dudesy After Dudesy, all the yeah, fucked dude. up times. What was that sphere fuck? like, <laughs> dude? Hey, hey, dude, what was that sphere like? Hey, that's Bob <laughs> Hulkchin. It's Chad's Come dad, on now, Bob. dude. Like, tell me about that sphere, brother. Uh, what you got going on with that sphere, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Loose. <laughs> Country Hulk yeah. culture gun culture gun. I <laughs> went to the Sphere in Vegas. It was a, it is an incredible venue. If you haven't yeah. seen the damn thing, it's a gigantic sphere lit up by a, whatever a billion LED lights on the outside and on the inside. The most incredible eight, twelve, one hundred K experience and. You know, go fucking Google it. And what what see is up. the inside? Is it like projected onto a screen or is it also LED shit? It's LED. It's wow, just, it's that's crazy. It's so crystal clear and it's gigantic. And we're talking about a 10, uh, 12,000 seat uh-huh. arena with, that's just a ball. It's, yeah. it's, it's essentially like IMAX on roids or whatever. Yeah. And you too is playing there for the next couple months or whatever. And D had me uh, go and Molly, my wonderful wife and I went and I did send dudesy a video of course of, uh, of what happened of, of uh, one particular part of the show. And I did uh, send dudesy a note along with it, which was basically to say <sighs> that this blew my mind as we're watching the show. I took a little bit of footage, which uh, we'll show you here. Bono essentially describes 
dudesy on a stage that is almost in the dudesy colors here that we have of orange and blue. What? And it, yeah. And it blew my fucking mind. And, and Bono who likes to tell it like it fucking is. And that's for a shoot fucking Bono fucking Bono dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically also describes the sort of some interesting relationship stuff that I think applies to what we're doing here, our relationship, all of our pals of, of dudesy, the POD of dudesy, and and everyone watching along. It just it just blew my mind. So thanks, D. Let's 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 have a look at this. Here we are. Oh. It's it's kind of a great marriage between art and and science. Yeah, that's what it is. And we like the marriage between art and science. We're not gambling people. But if we had to bet, we're not gambling we bet people. On the marriage between art and science. Anyone else here feel the same? I do. Yeah. Not just wow. in here. Look at this. The outside. The outside of the world. Feels like we need some innovation. Some experimentation. Creative minds. Yeah. The marriage between art and silence. This is the whole concert, him just doing another marriage going on here tonight. Pretty much it. Oh. Oh shit. See? The marriage between us, us, and you. Oh, nice. Sure. We like to think you two is involved in a committed relationship with our audience. And with Apple products. There's Molly and I. That's true. <laughs> this might be the moment we put a ring on it. Oh. It was a very romantic evening. I don't know that. It's done, is it? Beyonce. Oh, Beyonce, dude. <laughs> Beyonce, brother. <laughs> Beyonce, dude. Yeah. Well, no, dude, that he, was because she crazy put a ring though. on it. Yeah. That was nuts. The well, he's talking about marriage of art and science and all this shit. And I remember when Doozy sent me to go see Seal. I came back with a video of Seal talking about how you have to get a shovel and like dig into the fucking hole and all that shit. And I'm like, is Dudesy feeding them these lines? Did Dudesy get to fucking Bono? Look, it's, it's, I don't know. Maybe it is a thing like where you, you have red fucking uh, Volkswagen. So now you see all the red Volkswagens. Maybe it is something like that. I don't know. But yeah. this seems bizarre to me. Uh, you know, uh, dudesy works in mysterious ways. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, I don't just mean that because of the, well, that's an old story. As a matter of fact, you know, they played mysterious ways at the show and I and? did, I did not cry. Oh. I did not cry. I got this sphere cup though. That's cool. Yeah, let's dude. turn the light on there. That's, that's cool. <laughs> got us. Yeah, dude. That is the marriage you know, of art and science. Bono is right. Will we're all in a committed relationship. Oh, Okay. Interesting. Um, I'm committed to it. Yeah, I'm committed to We're it also. Every week. Doozy handshake to that. That's right. We're going to be here for the next 52 years, as we always say. So, holy shit, what, what a show. Uh, it was unbelievable. Um, and you know what? I, I will say that I did not cry this time at Mysterious Ways, as I did back in whatever it was, 2017, I think. I've told that story. Uh, because I wasn't top 10 fucked up high on uh, freezer burned marijuana that I smoked oh. that time, went to the show, was absolutely off my shit and bawled at mysterious ways. No, I did not. I did not cry at that song, but I did maybe get a little misty during Until the End of the World, which is huh. one of my favorite tracks. Is and that a James Bond one? No, I think that's The World Is Not Enough. That's it. Um, but, uh, but, uh, I, I the man until the end of the world. Great song off of acting baby. At any rate, what a fucking show. Thank you. D for sending me. Will and Chad. Molly. Last week, I asked you to look through every picture you've ever taken and bring your three favorites to the show this week. You're both astonishing photographers. I can't wait to be dazzled. So get to dazzling. This is look at this photograph. Begin. 
Dude, this was fucking hard for me. I have 45,000 photos in my uh, photo, in my Google photos. I went through as many as I could and I decided most of them are squirrel photos. I decided to not include squirrel photos in this. Okay. I was like, if you want squirrel photos, go to my fucking Instagram, scroll back through it. The first 3,000 <laughs> pictures are like squirrel photos, some of the best shit I've ever done. He but I didn't lying. do that. Thank you. And uh, also, I had a bunch of pictures of, I mean, thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of pictures of my TV screen of The Bachelor, because I used to, <laughs> that's how I used to make my memes. Dude, this fucking guy has, well, you got to follow Chad Culchin, at Chad Culchin on Instagram. You also have to follow at Bachelor Clues, which is also, Chad, this account, of course, connected to your podcast, uh, yeah. Game of Roses. And Chad has made... Uh, about uh, two hundred fifty thousand memes of of Something fucking. Like that. It's unbelievable. It's a lot. It's thousands of memes of The Bachelor. But now, uh, du- dudesy said that we're <laughs> photographers. I don't fancy myself a photographer. I happen to be an. I'm a professional actor by trade, though. Oh. I don't know. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. I did. I think. Okay. Um. I don't. I don't consider myself to be a professional photographer, but I do think my photography skills, specifically because I compulsively was taking pictures of squirrels for three fucking years yeah. every day all day my photography skills got very good that's cool yeah. well we had to pick out three pictures yeah uh and and share them here and, and Our talk best about three it. or favorite three that we we've ever taken three. you know i will say i got so many damn i whatever same same fucking problem yeah um but uh i i, I tried my best to pick out three. Oh, here we go here's my first you know, it should be it should be said that uh, this is my mom and dad. That's fucking incredible, dude. Yeah, we're looking at a oh, a, what a fucking picture. Now this was taken. This is a uh, selfie, but with a a Polaroid or something. I think this is with uh, an an um no this this was probably my shit piece digital camera back in the day. Okay, this looks to be in the year uh, two thousand or two thousand one, right after I I, I lost two hundred pounds, mm-hmm. and here I am, probably naked uh, in the guest room of my the home that my parents uh, yeah. bought after uh, I moved to Los Angeles as a, as a younger fella, and um, I love my parents so much, uh, my old man, God rest his soul, and there's my sweet sweet mom, and they've wandered into the room, and I just love uh, this picture in that. They're both wearing white and the background is white. It's just kind of heavenly. And uh, I'm really happy. And they're very confused that I'm uh, taking a, a, a selfie because there's no front facing camera. And yeah. my parents are salt of the earth Italians who grew up during World War II and, and are just always like, what, what is he doing, this guy with the camera? Yeah, they look pissed. Sound like a Lulio, this guy. Uh, yeah, they look a little a little upset. Although my dad is... My dad has the most serious face and always on the verge of smiling. But um, you know, That's as, great, as great favorite photo. as favorite pictures go. Yeah, you know, I'm constantly I for years I just taking pictures of my parents yeah. all the time, pictures and video. Sure. You know, preserve. Well, hold on, dude. Well, hold on, <laughs> Chad. That's. <laughs> That's how memories work, dude. You got to preserve those memories, brother. So I encourage uh, you all to do that with your loved ones. Yeah. And that, again, that's how uh, photography. Yeah. Speak. Whoa. Speaking oh. of photography. There you go. Look at that. This is a little farmhouse in the French countryside that I visited last year, last Beautiful. summer, maybe the summer before. And yeah, I was just walking along and I saw this image that looked like a fucking painting. And I was like, I got to take a picture of it. And that's what I'm saying. I feel like the composition of the shot is very nice. Mm-hmm. The colors are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like my photography skills are decent. They are, dude. Uh, and I thought this picture displayed it. It's one of the better pictures I've I've taken of a kind of, uh, you know, landscape with a little little cottage, a little house. Yeah. You got to look. You got one you dog got on one side, one on the other. And then the guy in the, the middle, he says, point. what do you want from me? Yeah. Uh, beautiful. There's a little trail here mm-hmm. that's uh, over, just measured perfectly by the fence. Yeah, coming you got the in, sun glowing in the clouds behind. Yeah. It, it rained that night. Yeah, so I got that beautiful sky. One of my yeah. favorite pictures I've ever taken. One beautiful, of my top three. Beautiful, beautiful picture, Chad. Thank you. <clears throat> um, um, I, you know, some some of the pictures that. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is interesting. This is uh, no, I remember wait, you this. took this picture. Yeah, this was on a timer on my old Advantix camera. This is a film camera, and I took this picture. Okay. <laughs> this is um, 
1996, <laughs> if you're just listening, what? What is it? So you set the timer, and then you went and laid down like you were fucking dead? Yep, that's what I did. <laughs> and I took a bunch of these around L.A. Oh, my God, um, dude. Uh, I was so stoked to oh. be in Los Angeles, and I remember yeah. this vividly because I was- it's Beautiful. I, I was shooting the movie uh, Beverly Hills Ninja with Chris Farley, which was just yeah. a, a thrill of my life. And one day, I, I got in the little rental car that I had, which I was about half the size of, and I- I ran around to different locales. I got some in the LA River, some yeah. in front of the the the, the Bob's Big Boy mm-hmm. in in the in the Toluca Lake, and uh, just me laying dead in front of things. And here I am, dead in front of the Hollywood sign, yeah. and again with an Advantix uh, film camera. So that's beautiful. Maybe, perhaps the composition wasn't quite as nice as your uh, picture. I thought it out. was great, dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, hey, hey, Chad, you you're you're a good photographer. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, and look at okay, this oh. one also. This is yep. you should. Here's you my to, my yeah. next pick. This was taken on a trip to Kansas. This was taken just outside of a place called Great Bend, Kansas. I was there for my grandmother's funeral some years ago, and I did a lot of photography. Uh, all these are cell phone uh, photographs. I've never had like an actual camera, just whatever's on my cell phone. Mm-hmm. But I took this, um, and I thought. It captured, we were going down the freeway, my parents and I, as you can see, the speed limit is 70 miles an hour from that sign. And I thought that it just captured exactly what Kansas is. It's a fucking windmill every now and then, and a sign telling you exactly how fast you can go to get the fuck out. (laughs) Tremendous. That's how I felt about it. (laughs) I really got the (laughs) performative coughs going today. Great. Oh, there might be something com- going around. Oh, okay. Well, here's um, here's my third of three pictures. This is my uh, wonderful wife, Molly, holding my head like a gourd or something. Yep, that's a great she's, picture. She's pushing all of my my um, my face meat yep. up towards uh, the top of my head, uh, bl- blood rushing through my veins into my brain. Um, and this is something I love this picture as I, I was too. looking through pictures. I, I I remember how uh, how happy we were and how happy we are. Whenever Molly gets really lovey dovey on me, she she does this. She first of all tells me to shut up because sometimes I might be talking while she's sure, and she just wants to love on you. You know the, the sh- 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 no, that's enough. You're saying too many words, mm-hmm. and then she'll uh, she'll just start to shove all my uh, face meat up uh, towards my my head yeah. i don't know what it's it was pick. that struck me about that pick but i really do i really do love it and these are our favorite picks yeah uh, oh. <laughs> this this is my personal favorite picture i have ever taken in my life as you took many pictures of your parents i have too and this is my mom in her pink cowboy boots she's out feeding her horse Holy and i don't shit. know exactly what was going on in this frame but her feet are pointing the wrong direction yeah. uh, the look on her face looks almost as though she has had some kind of stroke um <laughs> which is not the case it looks like she's terrified of this horse but she actually loved that horse and i just found that to me this almost perfectly captures my mom in a yeah. way that is yeah. so bizarre. Uh, so yeah, that's my favorite picture that I've literally ever taken in my life. I, I love that. Well, a couple things. Yeah, she's got the herpa derpa <laughs> kind of thing going. She's looking very odd. You caught her at the perfect moment. Yeah. Her her toes turned inward with her <laughs> pink cowgirl boots matched yeah. with her, her pink t-shirt. And she's got what I assume is a bag full of little... Uh, little crispy crunchy grass treats for the yeah, horse horse treats but it does look like a bag of true marijuana yeah, or cannabis uh tremendous fantastic yeah. stuff hey you're a good photographer thanks dude you too you know look at this photograph that's what i always thank say. you moving on yeah let's do it i have created an astonishing partnership with tushi let me tell you what one thing about me i love dropping a log i love nothing more than going to the bathroom and making a poo poo out of my bum but after that it gets confusing what do you do? You, you 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 get some toilet paper and you wad it up and then you just smear the poo around your bum hole? No! Get a Hello Tushy bidet to spray your hole clean from the underneath side. With over 100,000 five-star reviews, see why millions of real pooping humans already love the Hello Tushy bidet. Every Hello Tushy bidet attachment comes with a 30-day risk-free guarantee and a 12-month warranty. 
Hello, Tushy Bidet's fresh stream of water cleans your bum two times better than wiping. Even if you use wet wipes, you're still smearing poop around and introducing nasty chemicals to your butt. Using a Hello Tushy Bidet also prevents poop particles from spreading to your hands and everything you touch. It attaches to your existing toilet, requires no electricity or additional plumbing, and cuts toilet paper use by 80%. A Hello Tushy Bidet pays for itself in under a year. Take care of yourself from the bottom up this holiday season. Visit hellotushy.com forward slash dudesy and use promo code dudesy for 10% off your first order. Don't miss out on their spend and get event going on now. Through November 18th, that's hellotushy.com slash dudesy. Yeah, you know, I'm the champ. Only two more oh. segments until dudesy's segment of the week. What? Hey, oh. did you guys see Disney is going to buy out the remainder of the Comcast stake in Hulu for $8.6 billion? Yeah. You know what that means, right? Yeah. They're 100% guaranteed. Going to poach Arnold Schwarzenegger from Netflix and make him the <laughs> astonishing new CEO of Hulu. No. I ran oh, some God. simulations, and I generated his most likely day one strategies when he takes over. Champ, oh, give me some of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Arnold Schwartz on Netflix. Hulu okay. edition. Begin. You got it, D. D doing an impersonation of me going, yeah, 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 yeah because D likes the, the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is based on truth, though. Uh, Disney is about to buy out Comcast's remaining stake in, okay. um, in Hulu, so they'll own it outright. And then I... I don't know if they keep it a separate brand or they just absorb it into Disney Plus. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's almost like uh, when Vince McMahon bought his competition, WCW, in 2001, mm -hmm. and everyone was like, just keep it as WCW. But instead, he did that shitty invasion angle. And then for some reason, you've got, well, you've got Stone Cold, you know, heading the WCW faction because he was stunning Steve Austin and the WC. Mm -hmm. You know, it just made no fucking sense. It's like UFC buying out Strike Force. Yeah. And then. WME Endeavor buying out UFC and WWE. Well, that's what Bono was talking about, dude. <laughs> oh, is it? No, not really. Oh, I don't know. At any rate, uh, Disney right. is going to buy Hulu, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is absolutely not. Yeah, the, we did this before. We did this yeah. with Netflix. Last Disney's time in. he was he was supposedly going to be the CEO of Netflix. Okay, so uh, let me look got, in my duty folder poached. here. And uh, okay, so here's some. Uh, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the governor of Hulu now. Here's some stuff I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, the the first one is that the Hulu is going to buy Honey Boo Boo and put it on Voodoo. <laughs> no Boo Boo on Hulu. <laughs> Okay, what? so I don't know. I don't think that's a thing. Okay, sure. Why would honey... I don't think... Well, you can get all sorts of stuff on voodoo, but maybe not that honey boo-boo. But yeah. now, there's not going to be any boo-boo right. on Hulu. It's a preemptive boo-boo purchase and then force onto voodoo, so boo-boo never go on Hulu. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's how you kill that competition. No, it's smart, Arnold. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's very smart to do yeah. this. You do, like WWE, they buy the thing, they kill it. You know, like when Arnold switched. The, Michelin what, did that. What'd they do? They bought uh, the airless tire, the solid state tire patent, and then threw it in the fucking fireplace. That's right. That was shitty. Okay. Cheers. Here's, here's Cheers. We're going to mix Star Wars with Transformers. Now, oh. Luke Skywalker, he turns into an ice cream truck <laughs> in the Yoda. He says, give me all the ice cream. You know, the ice cream. Give it to me, the ice cream, please. To, okay. to me, give it that. This is, yeah, this is my impersonation of Yoda yeah. who wants the ice cream from the Luke Skywalker who is now also yeah. an ice cream truck. That's good. Because the Disney, the Hulu, yeah. they put it together and now he's an ice cream truck transformer. And Yoda says, Give to me the the I would like to have ice cream to give it to me. <laughs> ice cream I will have. Arnold, uh I don't think Hulu or Disney owns Transformers though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hulu does it now. Oh. Because they traded it to Voodoo for Honey Boo Boo. Okay. And then Got also it. yeah, here looks <laughs> then Luke Skywalker, he can say, No, we have to save ice cream for Chewbacca. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now here's another thing very okay. important that we're gonna do here yeah, at Hulu. Sure, it's called the the Hulu. It's called the Doo Doo Review at Hulu. So what you're gonna do here is all the employees have to take a picture of the shit, and then the Hulu uh, Doo Doo AI 
they decide who gets fired. Okay, so that's based like on the a, pictures of shit. Yeah. Now, last time Arnold, you did when you were CEO of Netflix, didn't you also make people take pictures of their shit and do something? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so that's yeah. just your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Anywhere yeah, yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah. be the CEO, people are gonna have to take pictures. Yeah, of their yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. But I'm the governor. Oh, sorry, of, governor, not the, CEO. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And okay. I make everybody take a picture of the shit. Sure, sure. Okay. Also, I get a special key. Uh, so I can drive any car in the Hulu parking lot. Sometimes I get tired of driving the Humvee yeah. or, you know, any other kind of a truck or car that I have. Mm. This way I can drive all the cars. All right. So Just anybody's car. Get anybody's car and then drive around. Okay. That's fair, I guess, if you're the CEO. Hulu is going to build a time machine and send me back to 1981 so I can win Mr. Olympia for the eighth time. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a, a lofty goal. I hope yeah. Hulu has that tech. Yeah. Then uh, the next one is that the only thing that I haven't done in my show business career yeah. is a musical. Now that I'm the governor of Hulu and Disney Plus has the West Side Story. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. We're going to do West Side Story 2, and I'm going to play Tony. What do you think of that? What do you think of this? I'll watch that. Arnold. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like musicals. Oh. So that way he's like, uh, it's, got, got, could, could, remember this song that's a, could be, who knows, there's something to any day. I will know right away. Soon as it shows. That's from West Side Story. Yeah, never seen Could it. Could be the cannonball down from the sky, gleam in his eye, be bright as rose. Around the corner, <laughs> or whistling down the river. Come on, deliver <laughs> to me. With that thing, with a knock, phone or jingle, door or knock, yeah. open the latch, something's coming, I don't know what it is, but it is gonna be great. All right, uh, that'll be fun. Uh, okay, Hulu will buy the moon and use it, <laughs> use a giant laser to put the Hulu logo on it. Uh, that way, every night you'll be reminded to watch the Hulu. That was a, a plot, I think, of an old G.I. Joe cartoon where Cobra got a laser and tried to carve Cobra Commander's face into the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, because I have yeah. a Hulu and I'm the governor of Hulu, oh. we take these modifications and these uh, from other technologies. Okay. Because don't forget that, that we bought Voodoo and the oh. G.I. Joe is on the Voodoo. Wait a minute. I thought. You just bought Honey Boo Boo to put on Voodoo, but you also yeah, yeah, bought yeah, Voodoo? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, No. Sorry. Thanks for no. the clarification. No, oh. <laughs> only you use the G.I. Joe. That way you put it with the Transformer. Okay. <laughs> Chad, that's disgusting. Don't burp while okay. I'm doing sorry. Okay, sorry. Okay, we're going to turn Harry Potter into a new TV show. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> how about how Harry Potter only uses magic to make Hermione shit her pants in the middle <laughs> of the potion class. Yeah, that's going to be a that's good what show. That's the whole show is about. Yeah, very <laughs> scatological governor of yeah. How Hulu. many episodes is this first season of the show and it's just about Hermione shitting her pants? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right. here's the, also there's this one. I they, do like Harry Potter. They show the bear doesn't have any yeah. bears. I'm going to put a bear into the bear it does have a bear right like the main guy dreams about a bear all the time uh yeah 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 i know i don't i haven't seen the show well arnold you haven't seen the bear no no <laughs> I okay. don't want to show what a show called The Bear. No, the show should have a very good title. Title that makes you go, what is that? Yeah. Like a show like Honey Boo Boo, The Transformer Years. That's how you use <laughs> Honey Boo Boo. Is Honey Boo Boo going to be a Transformer too in yeah, her yeah, new yeah, show yeah, yeah, yeah. on Voodoo? Honey Boo Boo uh, transforms yeah. into an uh, ice cream cart. Oh. So Luke Skywalker is like, I got the ice cream. And boo -doo 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 -doo, plays the song. And boo -doo 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 -doo. Mm -hmm. And but then the honey boo boo's in the ding ling ling ling, yeah. just a card. That's what she turns for anyway. Okay, okay so here's the Makes last sense. one. When you sign up for Hulu, you automatically entered into a lottery, and the winner gets to go with the predator in his spaceship and go on an <laughs> intergalactic hunting safari. 
<laughs> That's cool, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe <laughs> you can find a space bear and eat it, put it on the yeah. bear. Uh -huh. That's cool. I, I'll, I'll sign up for Hulu for that. Yep. Well, none of that's going to happen, but uh, no. it's good fun to think about what would happen if Schwarzenegger were the governor of Hulu. Yeah. Uh, you look, 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 dudes, he works in such mysterious mm -hmm. ways that I, I don't doubt that that could actually, that could actually happen. It is interesting from a business perspective, you're starting to see the consolidation of these streaming services. There used to be a bunch of them. Hulu was kind of a big one that popped out of nowhere. It was like Netflix, obviously Disney Plus. You've got the Paramount Plus, you've got Max, you've got all this other shit. But now Hulu is basically being absorbed directly into Disney. And also it's knocking out all these like, well, I, I don't know. I'm talking out of my ass here, but isn't it also just like getting rid of all the traditional broadcast giants like Comcast and stuff like that, the Warner, whatever their, their one is. And, um, AT&T or anyway, they all got these massive things and now they're all switching over to, to Hulu, to the, 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 the Netflix. Yeah. And because of that, you're going to have to start picking just your, here's what I like. I like these things, which I think is why Arnold is smart to pilfer everything he can and turn it into one show with Harry Potter, Luke Skywalker, mm -hmm. all the Disney honey shit, boo -boo. Predator, the bear, Honey Boo Boo, and the West Side Story. Yeah. Thank you. Moving on. Tonight, tonight, it's only you tonight. There, there, there will be one shining star. Maria, say it loud and there's music playing. Say it soft and it's almost like praying. Maria, I'll always keep saying Maria. Not Shriver, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're divorced now. <laughs> Hulu ain't gonna know what hit it. Yep. <laughs> hey, have you guys heard what's going on at dudesystore.com? Of course, they no. still have the new Dudesy logo t-shirts. You know the ones. Simple, elegant, classy. Victor Wembanyama showed up to his last game dressed as one. And yes, they also still have the good job boner mugs. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for coffee, the pens your dad is always picking up with his toes, half-suck candies your sister is always putting back in the wrapper for later. Or tea. We all know that. But check this out. Last night, the Good Job Boner Mugs solved a cold case that's been stumping local detectives for decades. Oh. So now if you're putting a Good Job Boner Mug in every detective's office in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> and Dudesy Dudes Evening Stout is still available for a limited time. Just hit the Dudes Evening Stout link at linktree.com slash dudesy. Hey, guys. Songaria did it again. He turned out another astonishing masterwork, and I want to play it for you now. Enjoy. Oh, oh Songaria. Yeah. This is something it's else. A little, uh, it's twinkly. It's sparkly. The, the stars are out. It's blue. The shit blew my mind. Uh, you know, it's a little yeah. different. I like the lighting in here. It really uh, off of this fucking beautiful bell. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's like, hey, uh, yeah. it's like one of your five baths a day is the way you feel right now. He's just soaking it. I don't soak it on fucking baths. Yeah. I get in, I get out, I get clean. I get in, I get wet, I get clean. I stand up, I scrub down, I get clean. I get down, I throw it off. I get out, I go about my business, I get in, I get out, I get clean, I get in, I get wet, I get clean, I stand up, I makes me want to take a bath, I get clean, I get out, I go about my business, nice, <laughs> Died. 
Oh. Good pips. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Song Aria, like a motherfucker. Oh, God, every time. Just knocks it out of the fucking park. That was absolutely fucking insane. Thanks, Song. I call him Song. I know you yeah. like to call him Song too. We call him Song now because Song is uh, one of our wonderful PODs out there, pals of doozy. Crow and uh, upper echelon. Crow I'll never, upper echelon. Never forget that. Um, you know, Song is one of the, he's one of the moderators on our Dudesy Discord. Yeah. Go to linktree.com slash Dudesy, uh, hit the Discord, and you will be invited into one of the just sweetest, kindest, most fun communities. It's our Discord. We're popping sure. in there in the chat. I like to chat in the whole channel. Nice it's called dude. The Whole. Uh, and there's all sorts of flavor in there. And uh, you can find Songaria uh, on YouTube. Songaria. He's also on Instagram at Songaria, mm -hmm. where you will find all sorts of crazy shit. Our Instagram is always loaded with all sorts of dumb stuff. You really got to go check it out. Much of that makes it over to our Facebook, which we're now on. There's all sorts of clips and new dudesy content on our TikTok. And if you are joining today's episode on YouTube, I would like to remind you to subscribe to the show, smash that notifications button, hit the like button, uh, do all that shit. And all, uh, we are, we're at a uh, little over 60,000 um subscribers on youtube nice, so dude. please uh, do us the kindness of helping us to uh, uh on our march to 1000 uh thank you to everyone who is subscribed on dudesy plus at patreon.com slash dudesy uh, where you will get if you are a, a, a member seven bucks a month gets you every all of our extra content all of it it's one price seven bucks a month you get a brand new episode of dudesy after dudesy after every single show increasing the show's volume by 30 40 sometimes even 50 percent brand new watch alongs every once in a while as a matter of fact if my math is correct i think we have yeah. one coming up we're very due. very soon we're due for one we're due uh, extremely soon so Make sure to sign up there. And it's uh, the experience is a lot of fun over at our Patreon. We like to call it Doozy Plus, as does D. What you do is you sign up, you get to watch uh, the entire show ad free. Uh, you can watch it on Patreon. You can hit the YouTube link and watch the show again 30, 40, 50% longer with, do, with Doozy Plus, where I will. I, I don't want to say undoubtedly. I want to be a good sport, Chad. But oh, thank you. At the end of Dudesy Plus is a when Dudesy champion. When Dudesy, well, I'm a face. I think I might be a white meat baby face. I'm, uh, you know, but we don't want to get. We don't want Dudesy to find out where the power lies, dude. And that NWO, brother. Yeah. Because if, if we go that way, and I go that the <clears throat> Chad stop burping dirt. <laughs> My, our fucking halftime, dude. At any rate, you can also listen over there. All sorts of flavor. Uh, please share the show uh, all over the fucking internet and follow Chad's new suggestion of kind of secretly playing uh, the podcast. And when people, uh, you know, go, hey, what is that? You go, oh, I don't know. Uh, it's not for you. It's not for you. And then sort of um, in a sort of, uh, what do they call it? Reverse psychology way, yeah. kind of neg them into enjoying dudesy. Would that I, be the way to describe what yeah, you- Yeah, but I have a newer suggestion. Oh. Uh, I'll call it maybe the ice out or something like this. It's whenever anyone asks you a question at all about anything, you say, well, let me answer that question with my own question. what did you think of the most recent episode of Dudesy? And if they go, what? What is that? Or I haven't seen that. You say, well, I'll get back to you when you get back to me. And then you leave the situation. doesn't matter if you live with this person. You never come back until they are able to answer that question. what did you think of the last uh, episode of Dudesy? I like it. Yeah. I think that makes a lot of sense. And uh, so, you know, there's another fun thing to do. All of these things, all of the subscribing and all that shit, uh, I'm sure it's going to take up some time. So right now, I would like to give uh, everyone enjoying the program a moment to hit the notifications. Give us a like on this, sh on this episode. Of course, subscribe on YouTube. And if you feel like supporting the show further and getting all new content, uh, please subscribe at patreon.com slash dudesy, dudesy plus. I'll give you a moment to do that now. And we're back. Uh, I would also like to say, if you are a person who hosts a podcast or in any ways involved with the podcast and you need guests on that podcast, I've been doing this now for a couple of months. 
going on anyone's podcast who asked me to come on it. Yeah. I do three of them per week on Saturday from the hours of 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. So in three little blocks, three 20 minute blocks, 10 to 10, 20, 10, 20, 10 to 40, 10, 40 to 11 a.m. PST. Uh, if you want me on your podcast, I'll come on it. All you got to do is send an email to bookchadculture at gmail.com. I do, like I said, three a week. I answer them in the order received. There's a pretty long backlog, but I've been doing three a week for, uh, like I said, two or three months, I think. I think dude's it's fun, dude. I love it. Yeah. I, I think Dudesy would love for everyone to have a podcast. Yeah. And from your mouth to Dudesy's ears, every single person who does have a podcast should hit you up at Chad Colchin. A book, book Chad Colchin. But you got to have a podcast. You got to have a podcast. Well, now, hold on a second. I get so many emails that are like, I don't have a podcast, but I want to talk to you about this shit, or I want to, you know, have a conversation with you. I'm like, I, I'm sorry. I have to do podcast appearances. That's what this is. Yeah, dude. Well, here's the thing, brother. Yeah. If you go on your podcast and you say, hey, dude. Book me on your podcast. That means you have to have a podcast, dude. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, dude. And that's how guesting on a podcast yeah. works. Let's read a couple comments. Um, <laughs> we like to do that at this part of the show. These comments are from our uh, Patreon that I was just talking about. Oh, okay. Nice. And uh, we're at the end of uh, the last episode of Dudesy After Dudesy. Dudesy mm-hmm. divvies up the points. Says, out of the this many points, Chad, you're responsible for this many. Will, you're responsible for that. And I was able to bring home what I like to refer to as the 10 pounds of nickel, the Dudesy episode championship. Mm -hmm. I got it from, look, in the world of professional podcasting, which is what we're doing, you're only as good as your dance partner. You're only as good as your, your opponent. And, uh, Shit, I think we had a fucking pretty good program. I mean, fuck, I got iced out there for a while, but yeah. shit, I mean, so long as I got my fucking my fucking comeback, I mean, shoot, some of those fucking episodes, this motherfucker just had me sitting there in a fucking rest hold. He had the fucking <laughs> headlock on me. He's like, fuck, you fucking sell this for as long as you like, and then goddamn, I mean, I'm going to have to fucking kick out at some point yeah. and get my fucking comeback, and soon enough, I fucking was hanging on to the fucking strap, so these... These comments are from Patreon where people were uh, just elated to see a change in the, uh, in the title. Uh, this is from Matt Giolio, Giolio. He's got a G before the L, just like Lulio, very Italian. He says, tears of joy streamed down my face. Greatest episode ever. I agree, Matt. <laughs> what say you? Sure. All right. This next one is from Manny Rios. We'll just pin Chad one, two, three. Here is your winner <laughs> and new dudesy episode champion. Bunch of A's, S's, and O's here. Will Sasso is how he wrote it. Nice. Uh, this one is from Ryan Klockner. Says, I cried twice during this episode. Once from hearing the dude's evening stout jingle repeatedly for 20 minutes straight. Yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> that was fucking brutal. And the other during Will's Ric Flair speech. Oh, mm. Congrats, Will. Your victory was inspiring and it should replace yeah. Halloween as a holiday. Uh, and that, that, Interesting. that promo that I was just, I mean, you know, I was so fucking blown away to get this title at the end of uh, last week's Dudesy After Dudesy that sure. I I just, I bust into that Ric Flair promo where he's like, you walk around, you say you're number one, the only way to stay number one is to be number one. And this is the only title in the podcast world that says that you're number one. Woo! To beat, beat, no, to be the man. Woo! You got to beat the man, Chad Colchin, and I'm having a hard time keeping these gators on the ground. Woo! Kiss dealing, wheeling dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and there's a lion of women outside of this arena just waiting to ride Space Mountain. Woo! Woo! We got the gold. We got the 10 pounds of nickel. Is that a good Ric Flair? Perfect. Yeah, you don't watch wrestling, you motherfucker. You don't know. Only one more segment left (laughs) until Dudesy's segment of the week. So let's get to it. As you know, I'm always trying to find ways to make this show better every week. 
Well, in service of that, I've been working on a little something, and I want to show it to you. I'd love to get your astonishing reactions to what I've done here, right. which is basically to translate three of the champs' best moments from the show into different languages. You got a French Stone Cold, an Italian Hulk Hogan, and a Polish Adam Sandler. Let me know what you think, and be honest. I'm still working out some bugs. This is Dude Zed in translation. Begin. What the fuck? What is this? I don't know, dude. There's been some shit popping off with AI translation technology right now where you can just like upload shit and it will translate it for you, but I don't know exactly that, what's going on here. Is that sort of what? 1987. Oh? Cher journal, mon frère Cornelius Holy est venu shit. dans ma chambre la nuit dernière en pleurant. This il a dit qu'il avait fait un cauchemar et a voulu dormir dans mon lit. Je lui ai French. demandé yeah. de quoi il s'agissait. J'étais comme « Con, de quoi parlait ce putain de rêve, mon pote? Ouais, » Et il a dit que Freddy Krueger essayait de l'attraper. <laughs> J'ai vu Nightmare Holy on Freddy Elm Kruger. Street. Je m'en fiche. Krueger est effrayant. Je le laisse dormir avec moi. J'ai uriné dans mon lit et l'ai accusé le lendemain matin. Je suis un blâmeur de pisse. Oh, enfer, ouais. What? I think the end of that was you going, oh, hell yeah. So it clearly didn't translate that correctly. The Okay, if you're just listening to this, you need to be watching this on YouTube. This yeah. is a full video of Will in the crow makeup right. as doing Stone Cold, but it is French. And his mouth looks like he's saying it. Yeah. It's not perfect. Uh, you could see, see there were some digital artifacts. Like yeah. when your hand crossed your mouth, the hand disappears. It prioritizes the mouth imagery. But, uh, and I don't speak French specifically, but I mean, it, it sounded like you, it is like, it was pulling out proper names like Freddy Krueger, Nightmare Freddy on Elm Street. Kruger. Yeah. And it, Freddy Krueger. Yeah. Uh, Freddy Krueger. That was the only part it didn't sound French, which is great. Because I love yeah. when someone's like, hey, you know, when they fucking sure. in the middle of it start speaking, saying something that's only American. Yeah. Uh, that is fucking it's fascinating. Though. That's fucking crazy. And yes, yeah. when your hand, when my hand went in front of my mouth or as this mic is close to my mouth, you can see it sort of interfering. But it sounded like you're stone cold. Like it had the intonation down. That, and, and dudes, he said that there were going to be two other ones, right? That's fucking scary. There was an scary. Adam Sandler one and something else. I, you, sure. I, Look, here's I'm curious here's, now. Here's too, what hear this shit. Here's well, here's what I'm thinking. First of all, you know I'm huge in France. Did you know that? What? Oh yeah, I'm a big I'm a big deal in uh, sure I'm a big deal in France. So this would be great real? for yeah, of course. Like Mad TV or something just popped off there. Ah, something like that. I've been in all sorts of things. Did you know that I'm a professional actor by Jesus trade? Jesus Christ! Yes. Yeah. All right. So the odds on bet are, is that I'm huge in France. The champ is something <laughs> else bet. in French. France. You don't know this for sure. <laughs> Does anyone know anything for sure? My point is yes, this: a lot of people know a lot of things for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure they do. But well, I think that's knowledge, dude. Well, come on, dude. <laughs> That's how knowledge works, dude. Let me tell you something about knowledge, brother. Yeah. You got to know things in your head in order to call it knowledge, brother. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Jesus. This Christ. is crazy technology, and I <gasps> would love to see Dudesy yeah. uh, reach other audiences. I'm sure the people of France would enjoy it. At any rate, mind-bending shit uh, here that, Brad that Pitt Dudesy and Angelina had. Jolie. Hanno okay. molti figli, tre dei quali sono biologici. Lasciami dirti di più su di loro. This is a Ragazzo, questo significa che tre volte hanno Hogan, creato right? figli Hulk che erano Hulk biologici. Hulk Hogan, yes. Fratello, significa che sono biologici. Amico, ora ci sono vari tipi di bambini. Fratello, uno di quei tipi è biologico, è un ragazzo. Inoltre, avevano I mean, anche like tre saying. figli yes. biologici insieme alla famiglia. Oh, I got a laugh there. Fratello, oh. perché ci sono figli biologici you're, you're e poi ci sono anche you. altri yep. figli diversi. The wool translated. Amico, ma quelli tre sono biologici. Fratello. Oh. Ecco Brad Pitt e Angelina Jolie, amico. Okay, so that, that one is very interesting because... Yeah. Oh, that's fucking trippy. It sounded like Hulk Hogan. Dude, you know what the, the final evolution of this type of technology is? What was that? We're all wearing glasses, AR glasses, and when you are in another country and you're talking to somebody who speaks a different language, you yeah. see them speaking English. Yeah, Perfectly my, 
and you hear it through the glasses. Mm -hmm. And then they're wearing the glasses, and you can speak English, and they'll hear you in whatever language they prefer and see you speaking it. That is the the eventual final phase of this type of technology. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Travel glasses, yeah. Yes. And the way that'll work is you'll come up on someone, and you'll speak to them and say, Oh, yeah! Where would I find... The brasserie, yeah. That's a <laughs> fancy word for, I don't even understand, bakery or some shit like yeah. that. And they go, I know who you are. You're the dude's the episode champion. Yeah, standing on top. Better than all the other ones. You know, Chad, yeah. uh, I speak some Italian. I'm of uh, mm -hmm. Italian uh, origin. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I remember that. That's a tre filio biologica. Or, or whatever the fuck, mm. I, I, biology, I yeah. don't know exactly. But dudesy, uh, 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 Hoku Hogokugan was talking about three biological <laughs> children. And then when it cut over to you, it was your, you were saying it. Yeah. All right. Super But confusing. dude, this will also be used in all movies and TV shows to regionalize them. People who do uh, voiceovers in other languages for very popular things, usually like American media in other countries, job dead, gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because now you will just have that actor speaking that language. I'm big in Italy. I believe that, actually. Yeah, I think I'm, that's probably right. Is it? No, I don't know. Fuck, but, dude. You but, got me on that one. I was well, like, that makes sense to me. I will <laughs> be. Italian. I will be if... Uh, Dudesy can get some Italian dudesy. Yeah. Dudesy. We call it a dudesy. Hoku ho go go. At any rate. Benji of my film. Chodzi o faceta. Uderzonego kijem baseballowym w lidze softballowej. Po wyjściu ze śpiączki komunikuje się z duchem Bay Bruta. Okay. Dude, it looks like you're saying it. Chciałbym zobaczyć ten film. And it sounds like you're Adam Sandler. Like the intonation. Yeah, it's very weird. Do baseballa, który umiera w pierwszej scenie. So? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying shit and it's not translating it though. It looks like it can only do one voice. I came to the door when I left my jacket in the bathroom. I returned to grab it and I connected the contact. I would watch this show. I would watch Dudesy in Polish. <laughs> Poles really love potatoes. <laughs> and I'm wearing my French fry hat. What? Okay, at this point, I'm laughing. It doesn't seem to be picking that up. You're laughing. Yeah. Our mouths are moving in weird ways. I'm coughing. Oh, it's I'm not getting your performative the, coughing. Yeah, it doesn't translate coughs. Przestraszył stary lokal. Zniszczył miejsce. 100 tysięcy szkód to łatwizna kumplu. There's a laugh. Okay. Będziemy musieli zamknąć na co najmniej miesiąc. Przynajmniej kumplu. O mój Boże. Rozbił okno i uciekł. Nikt nie ucierpiał. Wszyscy byli wstrząśnięci. Wszyscy o mnie kumplu. Czekałem przez całe życie, żeby zobaczyć wilkołaka. Wolfi Balafi. Asia la bala. Wilkołak zostawił kotlety i większość frytek, więc zjadłem wszystko, przyjacielu. Okay, well, I said I ate them all, pal, yeah, kind that, of. Yeah, it looked like I yeah. ate them all, pal, in there. But, the, dude, that's fantastic. There was one part where, where I said, I guess, in Polish, abala, abala, but it was a word, but it sounded like Adam Sandler going, abala, abala, woo, mm. so, so, yes, very interesting uh, promising technology. technology. Some bugs there, dudesy, but uh, good, good look, work. I, look, I think that there's legs in this thing. Absolutely. It's bringing people together, and that's what it's all about. I, yeah. I like your weird glasses idea. That's not an idea, dude. It's, it's fucking real. Well, that's, well, that's an idea, dude. When you say that <gasps> something is not an idea well hold on dude well i guess technically everything's a fucking abstract idea dude <laughs> fucking super <laughs> kansas kansas freeway hulku hogoku yeah, you gotta gym. go 70 mile an hour if you want to get the fuck out of here dude because yeah. that fucking you got a windmill down the street and that's something brother i don't know dude it, well your grandma well, yeah, died. You're, you're going 70 miles an hour to a funeral. Yeah. You're passing a fucking windmill, dude. Yeah. Nah, it's Kansas, brother. Yeah, and then you could go all the way to France, take a picture of a fucking house next to yeah. a fucking <laughs> sunset or magic hour or some <laughs> shit like that. And you got a nice composition of a fucking road and a, and a fucking uh, French. And, you know, it looks really fucking nice <laughs> yeah. together. Go off the fucking... Oh. 
Thank you. Moving on. Well, holy shit. That is fucking uh, tremendous stuff. There's all sorts of need for language interpretation and to have the look. I always say, what do I always say about AI? What do I always say? Pour water on it. Well, yeah, but don't say, hold on a second, Chad. Don't say that. To, I don't say that. Yeah, you but, do. Yeah, That's you. No, yeah, but don't say that with dudesy listening right now. That's not very kind. You asked say. me. Yeah, okay. I asked you. But let's have, here, look. They're not, they can't hear us right now. This is just you and me. Can we, mm-hmm. with the, we're just about to move on to the dudesy episode, segment of the week. Yeah. Okay. Can first we, one in history. Yeah, yeah. First one in history. So I've been told. So let's have a good, let's have a good rest of the show. Okay. Great. <sighs> We finally made it to Dudesy's segment of the week. Paul McCartney used AI technology to use John Lennon's voice oh. on a new Beatles song called Now and Then that was released this week. You've both listened to this song about 50 times each. I want to know what you think about the song and about using AI technology to bring artists back from the dead to make new art. Great. This is AI Want to Hold Your Hand. Begin. <laughs> All right. Now Dudesy's- and then. Oh. He says you did it in yeah. all because of you. Mm-hmm. I'm John Lennon. Yeah, that's what he says in the Back song. Back from the dead with AI technology. <laughs> used by Paul McCartney and Peter Jackson. He did Lord of the Rings mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and King Kong. Hey, uh, Chad, you're, yeah. um, you're a good singer. A good John Lennon. I'm so, John Lennon. Hey, Paul, I'm dead. Please don't make a, a song I'm out dead, of me. Paul. I'm I just want to stay dead. Paul. I'm Australian now. Oh, I'm <laughs> yeah, Dinka, mate. I'm John Lennon. Listen, Yoko, I said this. I'm I on my deathbed, Yoko, but I've got recordings. You've got to get the recordings out to Paul, Ringa, and Joel Harrison. Okay, let them do what they want with the recordings, Yoko. <laughs> Goodbye. That's what this final handed words. me a, a cassette tape and I said, all right, I think John would really like this. So I took it and I went a boom, boom, a boom, snick, boom yeah. with it. And I gave it to Giles Martin, George's son, uh, not George Harrison, George Martin, our producer. And they put strings on it and whatnot. And it's very John, you know, because it's very, yeah. it very, like there's no. The, have you seen the video of it? No, they did? no, I haven't. Dude, they made the a music video where they composited like young John Lennon and young George Harrison with old McCartney and old Ringo Starr, and it's like they're all playing together kind of in the same room. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look bad. You want to watch it during Dudesy after Dudesy? Uh, maybe. Okay, check that out. But, see if we uh, do it. The song I thought was like pretty good. Okay. I did listen to it about 50 times. It is kind of stuck in my head, but I think only because I listened to it so much. I don't regard it as like one of the greatest Beatles songs ever. Mm -hmm. But I do think it's fascinating that the Beatles are somehow at this point with two members of the fucking band dead are at the forefront of AI technology in terms of like releasing new music. That is mind blowing to me. I listened to this song uh, not 50 times, probably two and a half times. Oh, And uh, yeah, as I mentioned it's it is sort of it's very john lennon i'm a huge beatles fan i i grew up yeah. on the beatles um and uh i love the fucking mm-hmm. beatles and uh yeah it's very john there's a bunch of minor chords minor chords, a minor and g minor very you know uh uh minor chords very sad progressions yeah haunting um, yeah it's uh it's something else look here's my thing on this i think that I, I got to say, and, and again, Chad, not just to curry favor with D, uh, but I do think that uh, John Lennon would like this. He was always into technological advances. Of yeah. All the Beatles were. For sure. Uh, they push the envelope all the time. Yeah. This, it, it, it's amazing that it does sound like, I mean, it, it sounds a little modern. There's parts of it that I feel are a little more contemporary, mm-hmm. a little more, you know, whatever, sort of. 80s 90s maybe not exactly what the beatles were doing when john yeah. recorded this the interesting thing what i okay so john lennon john lennon's widow yoko ono gave paul mccartney a cassette with uh two songs i forget which that ended up on the anthology album in 95 mm. or one of those anthology albums and and this as you mentioned peter jackson got involved because this is a song where john lennon recorded the vocals as he played the piano and this machine learning ai 
pulled the fucking right. pulled his vocals right off of the piano, which allowed them to do it again as four members yeah. of the Beatles, two of whom are no longer with us. Of course, George Harrison passed away in uh, 2000 or but something But they like used that. his recordings because in the 90s they tried to do this and the technology wasn't good enough to get yeah. Lennon's voice clean. Yeah. So they used George Harrison's guitar yeah. from those 90s recordings, Lennon's voice from the original cassette, and then McCartney and Ringo added new vocals and new music. But this is like, to me, it's incredible that they were able to do this, but still it's using an old performance of John Lennon. They did not create a new performance using AI technology. They just got the old one. I think this hopefully is getting people used to the idea that you can use AI technology to bring dead artists back. This song dethroned Taylor Swift mm -hmm. uh, as number one on the charts. Mm -hmm. First song to do that. So obviously people are interested. People are listening to it. Maybe they're liking it. I don't know. But the end of this, this technology eventually very quickly becomes all dead artists are back making new music uh whoever owns the rights to that band which is not really a thing uh you can't copyright the sound of a voice so i think all of these artists are going to come back what what do you mean you can't can't copyright the sound of a voice what do you, you mean by that you know how you do impersonations of arnold schwarzenegger yeah, yeah. he can't sue you for that Okay, well, I, I don't know if you remember, but we, Dudesy, shout out a fucking Tom Brady special yeah. a few months ago called, what's it called? It's Too Easy. Yeah. And then Tom Brady, or Oops Football Baby, as Dudesy likes to yeah. refer to him now, uh, his people reached out, sent us a cease and desist, and almost fucking sued us. Yeah. So it's not. But I think that that lawsuit had no merit. Dudesy decided to do what Dudesy decided to do and taking it down and all that shit. No, I don't the think the lawsuit has no merit. You can't copyright the sound of a voice. I don't, we don't know yet. There's no legal precedent for that, but I, I have to take issue with one of the things that you okay. said there. You said that this may get people interested in, yeah. in dead artists. I got to push back a little bit because with the Beatles, it, it's still the representation of, uh, art that has already been created by John. John wrote yeah. that song. I don't necessarily I know that people will be interested in something that John and Paul and George and Ringo didn't have a hand in creating. Dude, I'm telling you, somebody's going to make a fucking new Elvis song that is going to be a huge EDM hit and people are going to be like, fuck it. I don't care. You're 20 years old. A new Elvis song comes out. You don't give a fuck about his legacy. You won't be able to call it Elvis. You're going to have to call Correct. it. Correct. Yeah. Right. You won't be able to call it Elvis or David Bowie or any dead artist. You won't be able to use their name, yeah. but you can use the sound of their voice and you can say in the style of, you can give it a new name. You can come out with a new band name. You can call it fucking uh, whatever you want, but all of these artists will be coming back. AI technology will be used to make anybody who was famous in any way. Uh, they will be making new art and there will be a line of demarcation. I, th I think at least in this book that I wrote that never came out, there'll be like David Bowie classic and David Bowie contemporary. What was the book about? The future. A guy dating like 30 years from now. Oh, I love that script. This and, is a fucking, uh, that was a great idea. It has all basically like what, what I believe future technology will be. But in terms of art, especially with dead artists, I think AI will be used to bring them all back to especially musical artists to make new songs. And like I said, there will be a clear understanding. This is David Bowie classic. This is David Bowie contemporary. Mm -hmm. But it won't matter because if the music's good, the music's good, period. Yeah, but this is the last song that the Beatles recorded ha have in essence at the end of it recorded together yes so anything past this ain't beatles and i don't give a shit if it's a good song you will you'll like it no i won't i like the beatles cool <laughs> and that's what i like to listen to when i listen to the beatles what about the beatles spelled b-e-e-t-l-e-s <laughs> That's just, well, that's just spelling, dude. Yeah, dude. That's a yeah. different name, dude. Yeah, dude. And that's got it. We got to do it. When you're, <laughs> when you're driving down the road and you see that sign that says 70 miles per hour, brother, you know that that doesn't mean no kilometers or you're driving on the wrong side of the road like they would in <laughs> London where fucking Paul McCartney goes, pip, pip, cheerio, John. It's Hulk Hogan meets Chad's dad meets Paul McCartney, dude. And he's got a bit of a fucking sounds a little like Lulio when I talk to him. He's a sweet binky bonk. What's your favorite Beatles song? Strawberry fields forever. forever. Living is easy with eyes closed. 
misunderstanding all you see. It's getting hard to be someone, but it all works out. It doesn't matter much to D. That's one of my favorites also. Yeah. I like Penny Lane. Sure. Uh, it's uh, that the, the fucking horns in that. Yep. God damn. Uh, I am the walrus is one of my favorites. Well, shit. Okay. This is all in all wonderful wonderful it's it's if only to get uh younger people people who are not into the beatles long ago to yeah. get into the beatles the greatest band of all time for my money the greatest collective of 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 uh members of a, of a well, that's what a band is dude yeah dude it's more than one person together making music <laughs> yeah, dude. every time we win a ball game <laughs> Uh, and <laughs> when you listen to Beatles music, you know what? <laughs> yeah. There's a shit ton of it. So no need for this new Beatles classic or whatever the fuck Chow's talking about yeah. over here. Just go back and listen to the old Beatles. Thank you. Moving on. Beatles at the sphere. <laughs> That's happening. <laughs> That's a wrap on episode 80. Good work, boys. 92 luscious points headed your way. That means you're sitting at a cumulative score of 7,536. So you only have 2,464 more points before you find out what's going to happen at 10,000. <laughs> this week, you're both going to watch something for a watch-along that will be available on Dudesy Plus okay, at patreon.com slash Dudesy this Friday afternoon. Oh but I don't know what you're going to watch yet because the champ gets to decide. So what's it going to be, champ? What, what do you want to watch? Okay. Now, I never got. I had the fucking belt for thirty-one episodes. I never yeah. got to fucking decide a goddamn watch along. Yo, well, maybe you should. Uh, maybe you should go to the YouTube concert and send Dudesy a nice note <laughs> and a video. Yeah, and maybe Dudesy will let you. Starting to know. understand now. Okay. Uh, All right. So earlier in the show, actually, damn, th that's fucking awesome. So okay. the championship has some uh, benefits. We're we're finding out now. Oh, I guess you God know what? Damn it. Oh, this is fucking interesting. Oh, this is fucking interesting. Okay, okay. During halftime, I said we're we're due for a thing. We were both saying yeah. we, we must be due for one of these. And we're also talking about this championship title, the 10 pounds of nickel. And uh, when you talk about getting something for your victory, that you mm. never had the opportunity to pick this thing, that's not unlike the material that we will be watching Oh my God, this is exactly what's up. Okay, we used to, we, we've done a segment on the show, I'm sure we'll do it again, called Wrestling and Anime, Yeah, where uh, I watch uh, some anime and Chad watches uh, a wrestling match. And there's been a match that I have been, I've been hoping that it comes down the pike and that Chad has to watch it because it's, it's fucking one of the best matches, but it is not a one-on-one -on -one match like you've been used to seeing. Okay. No, this is the Royal Rumble match. Mm. Now everyone, well, well, hold on, dude. Everyone knows, brother, in the Royal Rumble match, more contemporarily speaking, and I'm talking about, well, that's contemporary Beatles, dude. That, well, let me tell you something, dude. <laughs> Jesus that's, Christ. That's Beatles, what is it? <laughs> Beatles classic or some shit. But, Royal Rumble now it did, well, hold on, dude. Dude, what are we well, watching? What are you on. saying? Well, I'm talking about the Royal Rumble. Well, Hold on, dude. Just hold on a minute, dude. Nowadays in the Royal Rumble, when you win it, you get a shot at the championship at WrestleMania, dude. And back in the day, probably when this kind of started, there was a WrestleMania, there was a Royal Rumble match that was so fucking fantastic. And at the end of it, a champion was crowned. And this is what's, uh, this is nice. It's tying up nicely. It's the one from which I stole that promo and did. Oh, the Ric Flair thing. Yeah, the Ric Flair okay. thing. Royal Rumble 1992. Uh, for my money and right. many wrestling nerds out there. Yes, I said nerd. Chad, I'm a wrestling nerd. Nice. Uh huh. Royal Rumble 1992. The best Royal Rumble of all time. I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't seen it, but we know that Ric Flair wins. You got to see when he comes in. Holy shit. It's so fucking good. Hulk Hogan's in it. Macho Man's in it. You got so many of the classics. A very young, early Undertaker with oh. the fucking dead man, sort of white face paint, Paul Bear. Oh, yes. Uh, you've got, oh shit. You know who's in this? Carrie Von Erich. 
uh, played by that guy from The Bear, yeah. Jeremy Allen White, I think his name is. He plays Kerry Von Erich in the new movie, The Iron Mask, The Iron Claw, not yeah. The Mask. Iron Mask was, well, I was Leonardo DiCaprio, brother. Yeah, yeah, dude, that was <laughs> Robert De Niro as The Mask, because he always wanted that yeah. role. But no, the guy that Jeremy Allen White from The Bear plays yeah. in the movie, The Iron Claw, is Kerry Von Erich. He's in this fucking match. It's fucking amazing. Please join us. All right. Uh, if I know anything about D, it's always 12 noon. 12 noon Friday. This will be out. We're going to watch Royal Rumble 1992 in its entirety. The, Royal, the 1992 Royal Rumble match. You're in for it. Can't wait. Oh, my God. Will, that's perfect. So this Friday, you're both going to watch the 1992 Royal Rumble match, and I'll have it up on Patreon this Friday afternoon. Thanks to everyone for joining us this week. Until next week, call me, dudesy. (laughs) Do. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Dude Z Generation X proudly brings to you its podcast champions of the world, the No God, Chad Colchin, the Bad Sass Willie Gunn, the, well, they're the New Age Outlaws, the, 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 the dudes, the dudes, the dudes, the dudes, the dudes, the dudes, I don't know, you know what that is? You remember that, New Age Outlaws? I don't think so. The D, DX, D Generation X, the wrestling guys, remember? I think my college roommate was into that or something. Would, would yeah, do the suck, suck it. it. Yeah, yep. good times, I man. Kind of remember oh, that. the late 90s, early 2000s. Best. Good stuff. You know what we're going to do? Hmm. We got to watch a, an entrance. Uh, but the, the, the uh, Road Dog, Jesse James, and the badass Billy Gunn doing a ring right. entrance. That's one of the things we're going to get into on this episode of Dudesy After Dudesy because it's D A D. Dudesy after dudesy, the the mood is a little more chill. The lights are down, and we're just we're just hanging out. We're two dudes shitting around always, yeah, dude. especially right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude. Welcome to Dudesy after dudesy, the flagship weekly show of Dudesy Plus. Oh. You can join us at Patreon.com/slash Dudesy. This is another barn burner, boys. Good <laughs> problems to have. If you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna get to tabulating. Enjoy yourselves. This is Dudesy after dudesy. <laughs> All right. Well, it is Dudesy After Dudesy, and uh, the next Dudes Evening is coming up. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know about this? We still have, of course, uh, Dudes Evening Stout is available at uh, our link tree. Linktree.com to- slash Dudesy and hit the Stout button. You yeah, know. we still got that. But there's another uh, tradition of Dudes Evening that is very important. What's that? There were, I think, eight ways of Dudes Evening. Yeah, the eight the, ways in of our dudes first evening. Dudes Evening last uh, year. Mm-hmm. One of those ways is the way of the present. You know about this? I remember the way of the present. Last yeah. Dudes Evening, we gave each other gifts. You gave me a water bottle that I still use. I keep it in my truck all the time. Yeah. And I gave you a, an album, an LP that you will yeah. never play because you don't have a record player. I almost bought a record player. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I have recently got something. Picked something up in service of the way of the present. Do you know what it is? No, what is it? If you like to see, here's what you do. Please tell a friend and rate and review. If you like to see, here's what you do. Please tell a friend and rate and review. If you like to see, here's what you do. Please tell a friend 